isn't right. Not only is this not ethical, not trustworthy, it's also incredibly dishonest and it's hurting a lot of people. The Better Business Bureau is warning people about a new scam, one that has affected job seekers and a trucking company in Walnut Grove. Our David Chazanov met with the company owner. So David, what exactly happened? So since October, the owner has received 200 calls from people he's never met. Each call was about the same thing. People said that they was working for me. It was a package handler's job. And I was like, you know, we're a local uh, company out of uh, Warner Grove, Missouri. Westerman's Express LLC owner Joe Westerman told people they were getting scammed. Then we started getting people saying that uh, we had an app uh, we had an app on Indeed.com. And, you know, like I said, I don't know nothing about Indeed.com. And it was for uh, making carports. And they even had my business number, you know, on there. We're like, no, this ain't us. He then saw a website, westermansexpress.com. More or less, the identity of our company's name, you know, and that's... Uh, we haven't had no problems with it, but it still, you know, still makes a reflection on your business. You don't want that on your business. So Joe asked the Better Business Bureau for help. This is just the first time that we're seeing a local business that has had its business name being impersonated. Usually we're just hearing from consumers who have had these awful things happen to them where they're out, you know, theoretically thinking they've worked a salary, thousands of dollars. Regional Director Stephanie Garland says Joe was involved in a reshipping scheme. Basically, people who think they've landed a work-from-home job are asked to reship certain goods, sometimes overseas. They did it, but unknowingly used Westerman's company as a front. The consumer thinks, oh, I'm going to get paid. This is great. I get to work from home, get to be with my family. And they're shipping the things, but they're never getting paid for it. She recommends people pay close attention to any job offers over the phone. If you're ever getting calls, whether it's from somebody pretending to be from Westerman's Express or another business, you realize that you do typically have to meet somebody in person in order to have a face-to-face -face interview. Now, Garland suggests if a job offer seems suspicious, ask for the company's corporate address. She says more often than not, the address scammers give you will be an empty field.